Hi, let's work together today on our Concrete 5 website, version 7. You know what, there's a lot of modifications that we can do. And obviously you can build your site to be whatever you want it. But the trick is, is to make it dramatic, effective, and most of all, easy to do. You know, after filling up your website with a lot of content, a lot of sweat, and a lot of thought, you take a look at it and say, you know what, there are some basic elements of this entire website that I'm just not happy with. I don't like the colors. I don't like some of the text sizes. How can I change this? Well, of course, you can order a different theme and install it and have a lot of that already done, but that's still someone else's ideas. But let me introduce you to a customization feature that is common on Concrete 5 websites. You can make this theme template uniquely your own. And we're going to start by going up to the Edit ribbon and selecting the gear for settings. We'll go down to Design. And under Design, you'll notice the page template is checked off. We're using a full page here. And the theme that we're utilizing is also selected. Under this basic elemental theme, the stock theme that comes with your C5 installation, you'll notice there's a bar that says Customize when you hover on it. Well, there's a dead giveaway. We're going to choose that. Now take a look at what is available to you here. Unbelievable. Under customization there is so much. We have the page background, text, link colors, hover colors, the title colors and sizes of that text, the header backgrounds, the site title information, even your navigation, text colors, hover colors and sizes can all be edited from this panel. All your headings are modifiable. Your image slider, your footer, you name it, you can access it from this panel and make it truly your own. So let's start. Up on the top, page background. This little square here, when we click on it, is actually a color selector. Now you can see we have a range of shade and a little round circle in the corner that we can drag into other areas of the color selector and change we can select a unique color. Now as we move this you'll notice the bar across the bottom here changes to the shade you're selecting and right above it there's a numerical representation your RGB code so you can duplicate or tweak this color exactly. So let's go ahead and choose a new background color. I'm going to put it way up on top and make it just a pale pale reddish pink. I'm going to copy that number. Let's choose it. Over and above the page body, I'm going to go down to the Oh, see, that's changed already. Now the header background. This time, instead of dragging it, how about I just paste in the color code that I already selected, just for consistency. Now the backgrounds have changed. So fast and so easy. But take a look at this navigation. It doesn't fit. The text is too small, the color's all wrong. Well, here we go. Navigation, text. I'm going to change that color. Let's slide that down here to the reds. I'm going to make that very definite. And the font size seems a little light. I'm going to double the font size. I'm 
Oh, there we go. Now, as I hover over it, ah, it goes from the red to a pale blue. Mm, not a fan. So, navigation hover. Let's make it more of a green. Oh, yeah. There we go. Listen, we can change so many things, but I think you've got the gist of this. It's at your fingertips. Again, it's underneath the setting gear and design. Click on the theme for customizing, and all of these options are at your fingertip to make your website unique and communicate what you want to give out to the public. When I go to make all those changes saved, I can now also select either this page only or apply them across the entire site. It's just that easy. And should you want to revert back to the original, a little change of heart, it's just as easy as going back to customize, sliding all the way to the bottom and you can reset right back to bone stock original that's all there is to it hey thanks for joining me today I'm Adrian Rick the Arvix web hosting and concrete 5 community liaison if you have questions about today's presentation or would like to recommend another one please drop me an email at adrian.rick at arvix.com